That was uh, fast work. How many shirts did they find that corresponded to the fibers? Well, it looks like basically three. Uh, all we gotta do, give me that back. Man. Well, if it isn't my worthy opponent. I'm not here to see you, Capwell. Came to see your friend. Grapevine says he's been spending more than his share of hours trying to substantiate your client's case. Well, I just want to make sure the right guy gets the rap, that's all. We have the right guy, Castillo. And as assistant DA, it's my job to prosecute him. Do I need to remind you that as a law enforcement officer, it's your duty to back me up? My duty is to complete my assignments and file the necessary reports, and as far as this case is concerned, I've done that. You've also been running your butt off trying to round up another suspect. What I choose to investigate on my own time is my business. Unless it undermines the DA's case, I can guarantee you, you won't like that. As a matter of fact, you might even find yourself transferred. Mr. Capwell, you're an attorney. Does that uh, qualify as a threat? It did have that ring to it. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Now, you listen, Bassett. You can prove I'm doing something illegal, you go right ahead. But last I heard, I'm still a private citizen on my day off and can therefore do whatever I damn well want. We'll see about that. Jury selection begins in 10 minutes. Were you planning on showing up, or were you going to send Detective Castillo to handle the legal amenities? He seems to be handling everything else. Oh, I'll be here, Bassett. Count on. Okay, here we go. Three shirts. Any one of which could be the same shirt worn by the rapist. They all contain the same kinds of threads that were found on Christy. I wish we had Christy right here to tell us which one comes close. Not to worry. First recess, I'm going to make sure she gets a nice long look at each one of them. You know, I don't blame the DA for being annoyed. Sure glad you're on our side. 